National Council of both the Colleges of Education Teachers Association of Ghana, CETAG, and the Colleges of Education Non-Teaching Staff Association of Ghana, CENTAG, has uh, reactivated their suspended indefinite industrial action effective today, the 14th of November 2022. The decision to withdraw their services indefinitely is as a result of reasons including the failure of the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission to make available to CETAG and CENTAG a draft memorandum of an agreement capturing what the parties uh, mutually agreed on at the end of a negotiation for the unions to study before proceeding to sign it off. And uh, information we are gathering indicate that it looks as though the strike has already taken effect. Let's go and speak to Ibrahim uh, Bubaka, um, who is our correspondent in the Ashanti region. Um, we'll, we'll go to him briefly um, for a quick update on what exactly he has seen and whether or not um, from the areas he has visited, he can tell whether the strike is in effect. Ibrahim, good afternoon and thank you for joining us. Good afternoon, Martin. Um, so what can you report regarding this um, strike by CETAG and CENTAG? Um, is it already taking effect? Well, Martin, um, so far there are two colleges of education that I visited within Kumasi. Um, one thing I've observed is that academic activities have been grounded. That's St. Louis College of Education. And currently, I'm at the Wesley College of Education. In the morning when we came, uh, we saw one or two students who had to come around to the various lecture halls, hoping that um, academic activity will come on. But they were disappointed. Some of them um, had to learn on their own. Others, too, went back to their various dormitories. So um, at the moment, I can confidently tell you that um, academic activity has been grounded at the various colleges, teachers of education. So this is one of the lecture halls. And as you can see, only three students um, are there um, conducting their group studies. Uh, Martin, let me briefly try and see if I can engage with one of the one or two of them because and um, this strike is not for only teachers but also non-teaching staff, meaning that um, even feeding would have to be a challenge to some of them. Um, let me speak briefly with you. Um, good afternoon. You are live on Good afternoon. Um, this morning, uh, did your teachers come around? Uh, the teachers didn't come around. And what have you been communicated to? We didn't have communicated to any teachers, but because of the strike, you know, we are waiting for the government to settle the teachers before we can, they can come to class and teach us. And as a student, how is this affecting you? It's affecting us because some of the courses we have not been teaching and we have not been taught, so it will affect us some of the courses per, because of the didn't have time and just pay the courses that has left. So, but what about feeding? We know non-teaching staff, which also include the caterers, are also um, have also laid down their tools. Were you fed this morning? Uh, this morning they, we, we, we were fed, but we don't know. Say afternoon they will still Center. feed us. So we are waiting for them. If they don't feed you. What will be next for you? If they don't, they don't feel as yeah, I will leave on campus and go back to home so that I can get some food to eat. Okay. All right, so, Ibrahim. Martin, uh, yes, I, uh, I, I, earlier I engaged with the um, national president of CITAG, um, Prince of Benjima, who also told us they do not take delight in going on strike, but then this time around they've been pushed to the wall. And let's take a listen to him. 2022 conditions of service which started way back in August 2021 which ought to have ended in December 2021 so that it would take effect in 2022 January. We had to push and push and push and it was only a couple of weeks ago that we ended. Now procedurally when we finish we need to sign MOU to that effect which will contain all the things agreed upon, the roadmap that will lead to the payment and all of that. Then Fair Wages come out with, uh, road, uh, with MOA that is completely different from what we negotiated for. You know, you can't understand. You can't understand. And in that, 
they write that or they capture that what ought to have started in January 2022 will now start in January 2023, which grossly violates the, the, the rules of engagement that we signed prior to the commencement of the exercise. So we, don't, we, we, we just don't understand. And then you recall that a couple of months ago, we embarked on uh, living block because we are protesting our people having to work throughout the year because we do not have enough space to accommodate all students on campus. So what happens is at any point in time we have half of the number of the students on campus when they finish their academic work on Friday, next day the other batch also returns. All right, so that's the national president of SETAG, and um, that was an earlier conversation he had with Ibrahim Abubakar. Ibrahim, thank you very much, and also congratulations on winning uh, the award over the weekend. Morris to come, my brother, all the best. Let's stay on the subject and the discussion. This time around, we are speaking.